fun. It's obviously like a passion thing for me. I mean, I'm mildly obsessed with with food. So it's wild sorrel, um, and uh, this this will have a yellow flower on it. This is common wood sorrel, and then there's uh, another kind of wood sorrel that has a pink flower, um, which is the kind that I use. The golden rod that was kind of growing in the distance, um, and. Uh, to me, that's not really the greatest tasting thing, but you can make teas with it and it is edible. Kind of cool about chickweed though, is usually it's really low lying and in wooded areas, but if there's other little grass or twigs that grow up above it, it kind of gets protected. And you can harvest young cattail roots and you can mash those. Um, and those are, those are pretty tasty actually. And the hen bits right here, and that's everywhere, like all over the ground. And, and these are great for like garnish and stuff like that. Like if you're using a carrot dish, um, I've definitely used carrot dishes where I've taken a carrot puree and like dragged it to where it actually looked like a carrot and then garnished it with like wild carrot tops and stuff. Yes, wild spinach um, or, or, and or lamb's quarter. Um, uh, purslane, like even wild carrots. A lot of that stuff, it's like a symbiotic relationship between humans like because this does better when it's like near soil or land that's been turned. I always have like a rule, it's just like I take a third and I leave the rest.